mouse cage. So first, on the top of his cage, he has this, which is just secured with a, like a hay or grass type thing. I've just tied a knot onto the bars. Then he has this, which is a treat from uh, the pet shop nearby. That's just stuck to the top of the cage. Uh, on his first level here, which he's made a mess, he has a little cardboard shoe, and there's a bunch of food that he has. This is cleaned, I'd, I'd say about once a week, but I don't clean the whole cage out, it's just where he stores all his food from his bowl down there. Uh, he's got a bread, a chew, and then a bunch of food from that thing, because it's got food inside. Um, if you walk he can walk from here to here, then down to here to this little um, house thing where there's more food on top. Um, and he can make himself a little house inside. And there's another chew. These chews all go together, it makes a caterpillar, but he destroyed it. Um, then from this level here, he has, he would usually, there he is. He would usually go down to this one, to this one, but there's a tube here which blocks that area there. So I put this ladder and this rope so we can get down to the bottom. Hello. Hello, little mouse. He is a intact male, meaning that he can't be housed with other mice. In case you were to either squabble or if they were girls, breed. And I don't want either of those. And I don't think this cage it is quite a big cage. But I, I don't. It's prob it's 40 by, no, it's 40, so 40, 40 backwards by 60 by 80. There's a bunch of stuff at the bottom. Uh, he has his wheel here. No idea what the measurements are, um, but it's definitely big enough. It's huge for him. There he is. He's inside his little hat. Um, it's the pet shop, uh, pets at home one. Um, it's probably about... I'd say about six and a half, maybe seven inches. I don't know. But you fit on it fine. Yeah. Uh, down at the bottom of this cage, it'll be really dark if I can't. There we are. There's a, a tube which goes down under all the bedding. And that goes under this shelf here where he's made himself a nest. It pops out here. He'll go backwards and he made his nest. He's got a blue... Um, blue cardboard box back there. Here he has a ladder which just goes up to nothing. Here is a cardboard tube. Uh, it does come with fluff, but that's no good for small pets, so I just threw that away. Uh, it's got his water bottle inside with a little hole right, right there with his water bottle sinking out. He has loads of chews everywhere. He has a little grass, it's like a teacup thing, but I've put grass inside, um, hay, Timothy, hay, I'll just put that back. He has a log at a slight angle, which is a bit buried, so he can go from the bottom floor uh, up to the top. Hello. Um, that's just held up by another piece of wood underneath. Um, pet shop wood, obviously. Uh, here's another ladder which goes up there. There he is, going up to his house, which is over here that he lives in. Um, sleeps and stuff. Um, then he has his TV, which is put up against the plexiglass at the front. So then you can see him when he's inside. That's my mouse's cage door. His name is Julius Cheezer. Oh, there's his food and... This tunnel here I just put in there for fun. That's on the second floor. But as you can see, male mice make a lot of mess. His name is Julius Cheezer. I think this is a pretty cool cage.
Uh, we bought this cage online from eBay for twenty four ninety nine. Uh, not plus shipping to the UK. Um, I think it ended up at like thirty five ish pounds for shipping to where we live in the UK. Um, I think it was worth it if I just get up. It fits in my room quite nice. It has storage down there. His food in this container houses hay and more food and toys and stuff in that one. Um, that's cool. This part here, um, this one here is meant to be a door, but if you open it, all this stuff, all the, the substrate and all the toys and stuff fall out. So we just um, screwed this screw in really tight so it can't move so that doesn't open anymore and you just have top access but it's big enough that it doesn't really matter um the only modification that we did to this cage is attach this uh shoelace we tied it to the bars here and then put a screw in there and so it, you can just push it all the way back and it'll just sit there because it does come with this thing here, which is like meant to prop it up, but it doesn't do a very good job, as the most you'd be able to open it is to about there, and it gives you enough access, but I just like to be able to push it all the way back and just have it out the way. Um, yeah, I guess that's about it for my mouse, wherever he's gone. more updates will be out soon sorry i haven't really posted in a while but i didn't feel like updating on everything so yeah see you in the next video